be disconcerting how I discombob your mo. It's called Legacy Legacy, and every song on the album is named after a person who has been inspirational to me as a person or as an artist. Even though the songs are named after the different people, it's really a personal, like kind of autobiographical album. I think of it as like each song is a self-portrait through the lens of those different people, through the lens of James Baldwin, through the lens of Eartha Kitt, or Sonia Sanchez, or Frida Kahlo. So it kind of um, encouraged me to get um, get more personal and also to shout out my lineage and shout out the people who have influenced me in my work. On the hillside, little boxes, they can stick onto me. My weaponry is my energy. With a song like Zora, I was reading um, an essay of hers called How It Feels to Be Colored Me. And it's a lot about how she learned her identity as a black woman growing up and, you know, being in a predominantly black space versus being in a predominantly white space. And I really related to that because I grew up in a predominantly white neighborhood. And it took me a while to learn that my black identity wasn't something anyone else could judge me on, you know, like no one, no one else can say that I'm not black enough or, you know, there's kind of this narrow box of what black was, is what I thought. So it was kind of like really getting into her writing and thinking, okay, like this is kind of shifting the way that I look back on my childhood experiences and the way that I look at, you know, the way that I define my identity for myself. And so I wanted to to write to that. I feel like I, I definitely want the songs to, you know, if you're just listening on Shuffle, it came on, just enjoy the songs for, for being songs. Um, but I love the process of kind of digging into an album. And I remember listening to music and being like, oh, I don't know that name that they just dropped or that word that they just said and looking it up and that being a really fun process. So I, I hope that it's also you know, if people don't know a name, if they don't know Sonia, that they'll enjoy the process of trying to figure that out if they're curious. Um, and I hope that that leads people to discover the amazing work of these people, especially young people. You know, in, so, in some schools, it can feel very like just ingesting information that is not necessarily relevant to them. People don't really center young people in their education. so. I think, you know, engaging in art can be a part of that process and can be fun. So I hope that some people get that out of it, too.